Miss Jenny from the Woodridge Memorial Library. And today we are going to be making some spooky ghosts for our Crafts to Go program. Let's get started. To make your spooky ghosts, you're going to need a couple of items. You'll need a pencil, a pair of scissors, some glue, some string, a piece of black paper or two, and you'll need a bunch of cotton balls. You can do any color. Ghosts are normally translucent, so I chose to do white. So you pick whatever you'd like. If you want a pink ghost, you make a pink ghost. So to get started, the first thing we're going to do is draw our ghost. What we're going to do is make a giant U facing yourself. So the U is going to be like a big upside down U. And now ghosts normally like float. So the bottom of the ghost is going to be all nice and squiggly. So it shows that the ghost is floating. So now that I made my giant U and my squiggles, I'm going to cut it out. Okay, so I have my ghost cut out. It's a spooky ghost. And it looks like it's floating with its little zip squiggles on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do with this leftover piece of paper is I'm going to make the eyes and the mouth. What I wanna do is make two big eyes, making ovals, two round ovals. And then for the mouth, I think I'm gonna do a circle. So it's like making an oh sound, very spooky. And I'm just gonna cut those out and put them on the side. Okay, now I have my two eyes, my mouth, and my ghost cut out. So the next thing I'm going to do is use my glue, and I'm going to finally glue down all my cotton balls. Um, so I'm going to just put a bunch of glue on first and then stick them all down. Okay, so I have my cotton balls on my ghost. That's looking really good. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is glue down its eyes. Okay, so I glued down my ghost face. Now, like I said, I made the mouth round and the eyes oval, but you can make the face any way you want. So the last thing I'm going to do is take my string. I chose red because I felt like it was extra spooky. So what I'm going to do is just make a loop you can make this as big as you want, as small as you want. I'm probably making mine about seven or eight inches. Um, so what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to cut it where I want to use it, tie a knot at the bottom, and then you have a couple of choices what you could do with this. You can choose to hole punch it through the ghost and put your string through, or you can glue it to the back. Sometimes the glue doesn't adhere to the string, so I suggest hole punching it. Right through the back of the ghost, and you're going to just pull your string through. If it made too big of a hole, or it moved your cotton balls around, don't worry, you can just put another one over it. Um, so now your spooky ghost is done. You can hang it anywhere you like. You can make multiple ones hanging at different levels. Um, I hope you guys all enjoyed this craft. If you made it, drop a picture in the comments below. We'd love to see it. Have a great day and happy Halloween!